okay we have a sneaky card so let's see the ten of pentacles we'll keep that out okay so spirit what messages do the divine masculines and all soulmates of my viewers have for them what are their messages today i'm hearing pumpkin also i'm seeing a hedgehog something about you're you're like a pumpkin or you're a pumpkin um pumpkin can be a pet name can't it i don't know if that resonates with anyone okay we have judgment we have the ten of cups in the reverse for some of you not all of you for some of you um this person speaking is saying they feel that you're a little bit prickly at the moment they might feel like either they can't get near you you have some defenses up your attitude has become colder to them than it used to be or it could be that they are kind of putting this on you and assuming that because you're not reaching out because you're not being actively affectionate that that's that's the energy you're in that's how you feel oh yeah for some of you you're in a commitment with someone else or you're doing something with someone else or they think you have people around you so they can't get near you that might be true they might just be uh you know worrying about that Okay, this person's manifesting you. They might be doing it consciously. They also could be manifesting you because they're thinking about you. They're having deep feelings about you. And when our head and our heart are in alignment, um, that's when we manifest. So they're trying to draw you towards them. If you're seeing lots of signs, synchronicities, it's probably because they're doing this. They're thinking about you very heavily at this time. So even though they feel that right now, if for some reason, you're out of reach, they're still holding on to you very tightly. We have the Four of Pentacles here. Um, they have decided what they're saying to you today is in the past, I fucked up. I wasn't honest. Maybe they outright lied to you. Maybe they hid something from you. You know, um, for whatever reason, it could have been their own fear, self-protection. It could have been that that's how they're used to dealing with people and they thought that it would be okay with you and it wasn't. But they're saying, I would love... A second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance whatever you know number they're on i would just love for there to be a new beginning here um i feel like i'm ready to drop some of this ego that i have but i also feel that for some reason i can't approach you right now so let's have more of a look for some of you yeah the ten of pentacles wow and we've got the fall um with the ace of wands so they feel passionately they want a passionate new beginning but they're not currently taking this leap of faith or this leap towards you so the Ten of Pentacles, some of you are focused on work, money, finances, they see you as very abundant, they can see a future, you know, having a commitment, a family with you, whatever that family looks like to them, um, or they have a family, they're not single, and that's preventing them from, um, that's like another layer that's preventing them from coming towards you, so they're manifesting you from the sideline. So what did they do in the past that wasn't authentic, please? What do you want to say to your soulmate or divine feminine? Um, yeah, what's your message? What do you want to say? Oh, they took too long. They put the brakes on. They deliberately, in some cases, confused you, tried to cause conflict. There were mind games um, because they had a big decision to make that they didn't want to make. And it's almost like their decision was either to, to stay stuck or to kind of self-sabotage, to mess things up here. Yeah, look how defensive they were in the past. This person was acting out of a low vibration. They weren't awakened. They probably were very stressed out already when you met them with lots of things going on um, in their life. If you look at this guy, he's got two entirely different shoes on and he's completely unaware because he's so focused on this perceived attack or threat. Maybe they felt you were too demanding in the past um, or this connection. It scared them. They didn't understand what it was, but they knew it felt very intense and maybe they... They weren't looking for it at the time um, or they didn't anticipate that this sort of connection uh, was going to come into their lives. For some of them, they kept you at bay, out of their heart space, um, by or through sex, sexual energy. Anytime maybe you, you tried to be sweet, gentle, caring, they would come back at you with something that was sexual. And I think, to be honest, it just... 
I think you got sick of it and you just said, fuck it, <laughs> you know, and walked away. Like, I'm tired of this. There's a, you know, yes, there's a place for that kind of energy, for this sexual energy, but it's not every single damn time we speak, you know? Whew, okay. We've got the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Sun in the reverse. So now they want commitment, now they're not confused. What they can't see clearly is how to make it happen. For, the, for some of you in the past, with all, the, all of this sort of deflection, sexual energy, um, with little um, sort of maybe emotion or honest communication, you may, may have felt devalued, but they didn't really respect you. Well, they do, they absolutely do. This energy was more about them, you know, not being ready for this connection or being fearful or just, just not really trusting, thinking, what the hell is this? I've never experienced anything like this. Tell me about this emperor, please. Yeah, something happened to um, really maybe humble your person um, to, to um, help them to move past the barrier that their ego had created. And the ego, it can be responsible for, so well, it is responsible for lots of things. So it might have been that through their ego, they constructed their reality, you know, um, the sorts of people they have in their lives, the kind of relationships they have, how these relationships look, the kind of life they want to live. And something has come in to shake that up. They're now reassessing. Okay, let's see what they're thinking of you. Well, yeah, they want this new beginning. Um, they want to communicate. They do want to reach out to you. Probably a message, an instant message, something like that. Maybe even an email. Um, they might feel there's distance between you. They are... Okay, for some of them, when... We've spoken about this a lot recently, but when they're alone... Um, you know, uh, how can I phrase it? Um, having their alone time, passionate alone time, they think of you, but also, um, I also got the message that for some of them, if, if you know, if they have a person, a karmic, for example, um, awkward, it's actually you they think of when they're, you know, with the person passionately. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, the Three of Swords. For some of you, your person definitely has a person who really they would like to leave, um, if I'm honest. Okay, they're holding on to you. They might feel that in some way you're holding on to them, but they, they feel that you are now protecting your heart space from them. They were doing this before. You're now doing this, you know, protecting yourself from them because you've been hurt. You might not sort of uh, trust them. Yeah, look, they want to take this leap of faith now. They want to focus on what's good about this connection, not the potential obstacles or regrets or um, the word misadventure is coming to mind. So I don't know what happened in the past. They Perhaps they took a, a path that they now wish they hadn't, but um, they want to focus on, on what's good, what's positive. But they, they really feel that you're very closed off to them. And you might not be, but they feel that you are, that you've lost hope. You gave up on them. Yeah, they see you as you've, um, you've become your own divine masculine. You've really balanced out your feminine and masculine energy. So they're saying you're so strong, you're so powerful. And I'm seeing you with such abundance around you. Why, why would you even need me? You know, if I was to come towards you, I'm sure that, that you wouldn't have space for me now. You wouldn't want me. You would turn me away because you waited so long for me and I didn't show up in the way you needed that you became this person for yourself. You know, you don't need me anymore. And maybe you don't need them but it doesn't mean that you wouldn't like them to be in your life, you know? This is actually a better energy because if we feel we need somebody, that leads to codependency. But if we, if you are in this nine of pentacles energy, or, you know, you're fine by yourself, um, that's great. Any, any, 
anyone or anything that comes towards you. It's going to add to your life and it's not going to become suffocating or needy or codependent, you know? It, it will be much healthier. So this is actually a really good energy for you to be in. But it makes your person scared. They may not be used to um, strong people, strong being with a strong woman or a strong man. Maybe they're used to relationships that are codependent. You know, they, they lean on each other um, significantly in some way for something. And if we're talking about someone, you know, your person having low self-esteem, that makes them feel secure. In the, in the early stages, having someone who needs them for something makes them think, okay, good, this is, this is a secure situation, this person won't leave me. But of course, as time goes on, that neediness becomes burdensome and it's not that attractive, is it? And you're out here being independent, being attractive. So they're drawn to this, but they're also afraid of this because, well, why would you need them? You don't need them, but that's not, that's not what it's about, is it? Okay. So tell us more about this manifesting, please. Yeah, they want things to move forward. They are very addicted to you. Again, the devil in reverse, like I say, codependencies. If there was any codependency between you both in the past, that's just not there now. They want to come towards you, but look at this. They're afraid to take that risk. They feel that you're not open to them anymore because of um, how slow it's been or how they treated you in the past. Um, and you know, the thing is, they're not going to find out if this is true or if you are open to them unless they communicate, unless they reach out. Let's see what's on the bottom. The moon, yeah, this person is is sort of sitting with their fear right now, sitting with the unknown, um, trying to fill in the blanks for themselves, um, thinking maybe worst case scenarios. We've got two towers here. They might feel if they come towards you to see what the situation is, you know, they'll have this double tower moment and it will be disastrous um, and they'll realise it, it is too late. So we've also got the Eight of Swords really in their heads right now needing to change perspective here you know it, it's like i said seeing you being empowered it's it doesn't mean it's not a red flag to say don't approach you the change in perspective would be to say okay you are very empowered hopefully they are becoming empowered as well they're certainly realizing maybe what wasn't working in the past so now we won't have codependency we can actually have something very healthy and um realistic here something that could could work Hmm. Uh, some of them might feel, and I know when I say this, I get comments sometimes saying there's no one else. And maybe there isn't, but they might feel that you're getting a lot of attention right now. And you, they might feel that they have some very strong, um, uh, there are some strong competitors, you know, um, that they would have to really step up their game to be the person that you would choose. Okay, let's get some of these cards. So essentially their message is to you, I can see you, I know I see you standing strong, you're in your power, and I'm genuinely wondering, why would you want me now, you know? <laughs> what can I bring, what can I offer? I see you, I respect you, I want to, to have this commitment with you. I feel like I took a wrong turning in the past, but I'm genuinely almost terrified to to come towards you and to see where I, you know, where I stand, where I fit into your life, if I even do at all anymore. Wow, being a part has been life-changing for me. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, It's helped them to realise they, they didn't let you into their heart space. It made you feel devalued perhaps in some way or just completely frustrated. I look at this card and I'm really, when I pick it up, I just get this feeling of instant irritation, frustration, outright annoyance. And it's it's because your person, they were stubborn, they were difficult to, to um, 
you know, the heart space, it was so closed. And all of this sexual energy, I think, if, you know, for some of you, you just thought, oh, every time, not every time, sometimes, fine, you know? <laughs> Okay, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. So some of them do have this, this karmic partner, this karmic situation. I do think they want to probably change things up there, but they're saying they can't right now. Yes, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. Yes, they are. I wish I could take back the things I said. And sometimes for me, this card works in the, the opposite way as well. You know, I'm sorry that there were things I should have said that I didn't, or I wished that I had said and I didn't. Is it possible to forgive and forget? So they do know that they've done something here that they wish they hadn't. Um, our connection still affects me. So even if they're walking around and you know you, you have no sign that they're thinking of you um, or that they care, they do. What's in the back? You've affected my life significantly. Yes, breaking down this ego, helping them to to reassess, to think about things, to not just say, well, you know, when people grow up, they get married, they have two children and they live in a house. You know, maybe <laughs> you're making them question this. Is is that how it goes? Is that what they want? Maybe it is. Maybe it looks slightly different. Um, maybe there are certain things they don't agree with. Maybe they are actually open to other things that they had just assumed that they weren't open to because the people around them didn't do those things. I feel this person's really been on the hermit's journey. Uh, they've really, really gone within, and it's thanks to this connection that at first, to be honest, freaked them out. Okay, so if you want to see, if your person's with a third party, and you want to see what's going on, how do they feel about that person? Let's have a look now. If you're not interested, and you want to stick around for the one question, one card reading, just click on the timestamp in the um, description box below. Otherwise, let's have a look and see. I have no idea, honestly, what's going to come out. So potential, potential trigger warning. I don't know. Maybe it won't be triggering, but we'll see. Okay, so spirit, for my viewers, my subscribers, whose divine masculine or soulmate is in a relationship with a third party, with a karmic, or any sort of third party, um, can you please show us how is this person feeling about this situation at this time? <laughs> I'm hearing egg, egghead. Somebody calls your uh, person an <laughs> how childish, an egghead. So the person that your person is with, their karmic, their third party, refers <clears throat> refers to them as an egg. I can't say it, it's ridiculous, as an egghead, so I don't, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if, <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's too funny, I don't know if they literally say, like, e <laughs> if they, <clears throat> okay, sorry, I don't know if they would literally be like, Egghead, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> or um, maybe when they're talking about your person, if they're talking to their friends or something, they might refer to your person as an egghead. <laughs> Not very nice. <clears throat> okay, spirit, what does this person, the divine masculine or soulmate, think of the third party, please? <clears throat> The Five of Pentacles, oh, the Seven of Wands, okay. So this is a pretty cold situation. There's definitely lack here. Um, they could be struggling financially, um, your person. They could feel very, even if they're living together, it's almost like they, they exist separately. You know, there's, there's no feeling of warmth here. Um, yeah, I, I feel that with this defensive energy, there may have been arguments. This Seven of Wands energy, you're familiar with this. You know how well your person can block people out of their heart space. So this is what your person is doing with the karmic. <clears throat> okay. How does this person feel, please, about the third party or karmic? <clears throat> 
the world in reverse. Yeah, so as we saw just a moment ago, this person wants to wrap this situation up. Uh, it's very nearly at its close, at its end point, but uh, not quite. There's that final step that needs to be taken. Um, <clears throat> with the world, there could be distance between them. For some of you, maybe there's a separation here that you don't know about. Maybe your person's actually moved out. Um, the world, this, this situation, this connection has been a karmic lesson for your person or some kind of, um, of lesson here, some kind of life lesson. It may be that they had to step away from you or they had to be in this connection to realize how special your connection was or, you know, that nobody can replace you. They cannot have the feelings and the, 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 the connection they have with you with just anybody. If this is someone they, they were already with when you met, um, there might be a lesson here about standing up for themselves, confidence, um, you know, in order for them to get themselves out of this connection to be with you. <clears throat> Yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's a truth that needs to be spoken. So there's really poor um, communication between your person and their karmic. However long they have been together, there is already a significant amount of pain that's happened. Confusion, upset, pain, emotional, psychological. <clears throat> yeah, the King of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Wands. This person, um, your person, is very emotionally closed off to their karmic, to the third party. Um, they might even, your person might be a bit um, sort of surly, cold, um, snappy with this person, you know, quite defensive. The per your person might say that they're going out and then the, the karmic will say, well, where? And your person says, does it matter? And then they slam the door and leave or, you know, that kind of, of an energy. <clears throat> three of wands so your person is busy focusing on you wishing for you calling you towards them but yes they do need to close this out first um before they can really <clears throat> do anything with this opportunity here because it's all very well manifesting you but then what happens is you appear or some sort of um situation let me rephrase the universe aligns the both of you so some sort of situation occurs where you're brought together. But if this third party situation is still hanging over your person, they feel limited in terms of what they can do with this opportunity. Okay, can we get one more card, please? <clears throat> For some of you, if your person and their karmic have a child together, um, it, it might be something kind of horrible, like the karmic is... Uh, making your person feel that it's like them and the child against your person, you know, or uh, the karmic or third party is very overbearing with the child or children and your person feels pushed out, you know, they're on the fringe, they maybe don't have a say in certain decisions or, um, <clears throat> yeah, in, in decisions regarding the family situation or the children or child. Okay, I actually feel we've got um, death on the back, so Scorpio energy, uh, yeah. Okay, so I feel that your person keeps trying to leave this situation, but then they get drawn back and we'll see why. And with the Six of Swords, for me, this is a really, sometimes a very tangible movement, like I said, moving out. So maybe they've broken up a couple of times and got back together. Um, and you might not even be aware that any of this has happened. So let's see why they keep going back. Okay, what's the Six of Swords in reverse about, please? Can you show us? What is the Six of Swords about? <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 
I already have a couple of storylines, so let me go through those and then I'll pull some more cards because this isn't going to resonate with anyone I already know. <laughs> wow, with anyone? Jeez, I hope it resonates with someone. <laughs> I meant to say everyone. Okay, so the reason they leave and go back, two things. There's a set of people here, divine masculines or soulmates, who break up or have an argument and temporarily break up with this third party. They go out, they have their fun, maybe have some drinks, possibly sleep with someone, then they go back to the karmic. The other storyline I'm seeing is there's this temporary breakup, your person pulls away, this separation is their truth, it feels good, but then they get scared. And also, there isn't a reconciliation they were hoping for with you um, because they don't, they just sit there, they don't reach out to you. And then they start to think, shit, you know, I'm not with my twin, I'm also not with the karmic. They start to panic and then they go back to the karmic. So, okay, like I said, that won't resonate with everyone. Okay, so for the people that didn't resonate with spirit, why does this person, why does their person leave the karmic and go back? Okay, the other five of swords. Yes, their ego gets in the way, their fear gets in the way. Um, so this this set of people, I'm not seeing that they necessarily go off and, and sleep with anybody, but I do think they have some time apart and they start to think, mm, I don't know, this, I, I'm not sure about being out here on my own. It could be to do with financial, um, a, you know, a financial situation or um, the home or some something practical. So they think, well, let me just make amends and go back Um and see if I can make it work this time, even though that's not really what they want. Yeah, it only leads, when they go back, whatever storyline resonates, it only leads to more arguments, struggle, a feeling of trying to, to screw the other person over first, trying to win, digging up old wounds. <clears throat> For some of them, they could, you know, if, if they separate, they start to miss their child or children. The King of Pentacles can be a father, especially with the Page of Cups, a child energy. Okay, so what does your person think and feel about their karmic, that they just don't want to be there? It's a very emotionally void situation. Um, there's active hostility here, but they're struggling to completely step away you know it's like this ending it keeps appearing and disappearing appearing and disappearing <clears throat> but they're not happy they're really not happy this is um you know i'm glad i know it, it's not nice but i'm <laughs> kind of glad to be putting these cards away and i'm glad that i'm not in that situation you know that sounds really mean. I know what I mean is I wouldn't like to be your person having to go home every day to that situation with the karmic, you know, and I don't think they like it either. That's sort of the energy um, that was coming across because it's just cold. It, it's <clears throat> it's like two strangers living in, in a house, you know. Um, OK, so if you're leaving us here, thank you for watching. If you'd like to book a reading, the link is below. Um, the Facebook group is below, some free meditations, a link to my Twitter account, you know, all those things. Um, otherwise, we will do the one question, one card reading. So thank you for your question, Vicky. So let's see, will you and Sean end up together? And what do you have to offer one another? So that's going to be quite tough to get all of that in one card, but we'll see what comes out. So Spirit, can you show us, um, will Sean and Vicky end up with one another? And what do they have to offer one another? 
Sean and Vicky end up together? What do they have to offer one another? Can you show us, please? Okay, so we have death in the reverse. So I feel that before you can um, come back together, something needs to completely end. So if you're in separation, it might be that um, there's a way of seeing something that needs to end or the cycle that you may have been holding on to, whether it's you, him, both of you, um, it needs to be completely released. And in coming back together, in order to bring something, you know, you said, what, what do we have to offer one another? So to bring the, the kind of the best versions of yourself, and I feel that that's very possible that you actually have a lot that you can offer one another. It, it's necessary to kind of release either old versions of yourself or an old version of this connection, but something does need to wrap up and end completely. It's almost like you're in this period of this prolonged ending um, and there needs to be a complete release for this fresh energy to come back around. Um, so if, if you are in separation, if it feels like there's an ending, try not to fight it, try not to resist it, because it's only slowing things down. And uh, death, it's it's about sort of a rebirth, you know, um, the phoenix rising from the ashes. So you don't want to stay in the ashes. You've been through the painful bits, and now it's about, about rebuilding. Um, but you must let go of anything that's outdated, outdated facades, any kind of um, illusions um inauthenticity and inability to step into your truth again whether it's you him or you know both of you um but yeah something does need to just sort of complete those final stages of completion um, and then we get this fresh new opportunity and death is a major arcana you're absolutely in one another's lives for a reason and i do feel that there's probably a lot actually that you can bring both of you to this connection um, and I just saw the number 222, which is a number of um, new beginnings in partnerships. So, yeah, definitely the message here. Try to allow anything that needs to be released to to go. You know, don't hold on to it because um, sometimes it can feel that, well, that's all I have. I have to hold it very tightly. But something much better uh, is waiting to come in as soon as this is over. Okay, so... I will leave it here. Thank you everybody for watching. Take care and I'll see you on Friday. On Friday, we will have a look at what's hidden from you. So 3D based, 5D based. Is it something that's intentionally hidden? Is it something maybe even your, your divine counterpart isn't aware of? Is it something that's coming in for your connection? Something spirit's working on? Something to do with your manifestation? Maybe it's a blockage. So we'll just see what comes out. So anything really that spirit would like for you to know. Okay, take care and see you then. Bye.